Hey everyone, so welcome back to another tutorial and today I'm going to show you how you can connect your Namecheap domain to GoDaddy hosting. Uh, since a lot of users have requested this and a vice versa situation where uh, domain, was, uh, domain is with GoDaddy and hosting with Namecheap. So I will also show you because I have this too for you to creating this tutorial. I have bo bought both these services. So in my next video, I will show you how to connect a uh, uh, GoDaddy domain to Namecheap hosting. But let's get back to today's topic. And um, to, so I will quickly show you without further wasting your time. Uh, first, log in both to both your sites, uh, both on uh, GoDaddy and Namecheap. And once you have logged in, um, go here and uh, click on this drop down arrow. And from here, you will see this option, My Products okay just click on that and it will show you all the products connected to your godaddy account and you can see here um, my domain name wordpress uh, my hosting and email and office uh, whichever i have services i have and an important thing i want to tell you that uh, this tutorial is about managed wordpress hosting and not the normal GoDaddy hosting because that's well kind of cheap and useless to be honest um, this is somewhat decent so once you find this first you have to go to this um, click on manage hosting okay now on this page okay i don't know what happened um let's again go to managed okay yeah go to manage wordpress from here okay and um, from here click on this three dot options and go to settings now godaddy website is it can be a little confusing um okay then scroll down the navigation i think is really poor that's really so hard and it's very easy to forget where the option correct option is and here in the search bar um you can okay uh, sorry if you want and that's for new domain click on this option attach domain and here select add an external domain or subdomain okay and here add a add your external domain that is hosted with namecheap <clears throat> sorry uh, so um, you can see here in my namecheap account this domain is listed bonjour.website and i want to connect it to my godaddy's hosting so i will just simply copy it just the domain name and paste it here and then attach it okay um, if you want to right now make it primary domain you can do so but i would suggest you to you can do it later okay to do it later let's attach it just for now and point the domain name servers okay once you have attached it it will be visible here and um, you can see here there are multiple options make this primary domain make primary domain uh, www.plus okay so we are not going to make it primary domain right now because the name servers have not been updated so now again let's go back to my account and now go to domains and from here go to manage all okay from here you will see all the domains connected to your godaddy account and you can see here this domain we just added boncho.website and here it shows that dns only offsite okay click on the three dots manage dns And here in the DNS records, you will find those two options NS records that is name server records. So just copy and paste it in your Namecheap account. Um, from here, select the correct domain. Okay, and then go to manage. And then scroll down and here select custom name, custom DNS. If any of these two options are selected, um, you have to select the custom DNS option and here just simply uh, paste this new domain name servers okay paste both the domain name servers and uh, now right now just click on save 
just uh, click on that tick option and uh, it will save the new DNS records uh, sorry name server records and this name server propagation will take like a uh, few hours usually it is uh, three to four hours for the update process to be completed so um, it will take some time and you can see here uh, this notice DNS server update may take up to 48 hours to take effect but usually it doesn't take more than three to four hours and um, for all the DNS uh, servers to get updated with the new records so once this is done um, you know you will be able to go here domain settings and let's go to okay let's again go from here my products and then go to, again go back to the uh, manage this hosting okay for some reason the page is not loading properly right now uh, go to manage wordpress again go to three dots option settings and and once the dns name servers get updated um, let's check what this website is showing right now Oops. okay right now it is not pointing to the correct ip address so as i said it will take few hours to update and once it gets updated um, you can uh, come here and click on this three dot options and make this the primary domain so it will automatically change the uh, do this domain connected to your uh, wordpress easy manage hosting uh, GoDaddy WordPress managed hosting so that's how it is done I mean it can be a little confusing because of the uh, I think the GoDaddy navigation site navigation is um, a bit hard but um, this you have to just follow the step-by-step -step instructions and you will be able to connect your Namecheap domain to GoDaddy hosting so guys I hope you found this tutorial useful and uh, please leave a like and post your feedback in the comments um, and if you want a vice versa solution like if you have a domain with GoDaddy and hosting with Namecheap so you will have to wait for my next video um, if the video is already up the link will be in the description and also in the comments and probably you will be able to see that video on your screen right now an option to click on that video so that's it guys and i will see you in the next video